Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Armchair Audio, back at it again with another video. Um, today we're going to be going over surround sound monitoring using stereo, a stereo pair of headphones. And we're going to be monitoring 5.1 ITU and 5.1 film uh, format for our surround sound. Simply because 5.1 is the most uh, popular and most widely used. Um, to preface real quick, the start of this video is going to be maybe three minutes and I'm going to tell you just how to do it immediately. Then I'm going to re. Then I'm going to simply go to file. I'm going to do a new project once again, and then I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to go over more information and more examples. So if you just want to know how to do it, keep watching. But if you want a process that's a little more explained, it's got more examples, a little more information, um, I'll go ahead and pin that in the comments and make sure to put timestamps for that as well. So let's just go ahead. At, how do we do it? Like bottom line, I want to do it right now. You need to make sure that you have a plugin that can virtually mimic your surround sound environment and then send that to your stereo pair of headphones. Um, that's the first thing you're going to need. And the second thing you're going to need is an actual 5.1 audio file, of course, in order, to mo in order to listen to. And so let's go to our master track down here at the bottom left. Once again, this is a new project. And let's just go ahead and get that plugin that we have. There's lots of these out there. Um, in this case, we're going to be using Deer VR Monitor. And you just throw that on your master track. Um, and then let's go ahead and get our um, 5.1 audio file and let's throw that onto our timeline here and that'll just create a new track for us. This 5.1 audio file is just a basically surround sound test and you can find that in the description below. It's just this website here and it just goes through each speaker, it makes it nice and easy to tell where the sound is coming from and they've got every kind of audio format you could possibly want. In this test, I'm using AIFF, and that one works perfect for Reaper. So you can go ahead and just download that and then bring it into your Reaper session just like I did. Now, all you're going to do after that, once you get, you have your monitor, you have your plugin to help on it to monitor, and then you've got your actual file, just go down to your master track, go to the routing button here, select that. Instead of two, two channels, we're going to do six channels for 5.1. And then you'll see in your actual plugin that you'll have 5.1 and those options available to you. So 5.1 ITU is what this file um, is set to in its channel configuration. And I'm going to use a, a analytic try instead of mix room A in this scenario, just because it makes it a lot easier to tell where the sounds are coming from in this virtual space. So now all you have to do is go ahead and press play. And let me turn up the gain real quick. Uh, let me do nine. Left, center, right. Right surround, left surround. And that's how you monitor surround sound with headphones in Reaper. And now let's do the same thing. I'm going to put a little bit more information behind everything I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, one of the things you have to understand in Reaper is that the the master track here, these this this these channels control what the rest of the tracks basically outputs are going to be. So this really is how many channels do we have outputting in our basically project here. And so we can set this to 64, which is pretty impressive. But once again, we're just going to set it to six for our 5.1. And this will enable every track that comes in our lane here to be able to output to six channels. You'll notice that if we have it at two, and then we just go ahead and input a new track and go to this tracks routing right here, you'll notice that we're only able to ever set this to one to two, our stereo two channels. However, if we just close that route, go back to our master, set it back to six, then go back here. Now you'll notice that we have access to one through all six of our channels. And so that's why the master needs to get set to six because it really does <laughs> literally control how many channels we get to output to. Um, one of the things you also have to understand about um, just regular tracks in Reaper is that if you were to hypothetically have six separate tracks, and they were all wanted, and you wanted them all to be mono tracks, right? And then you wanted each of those mono tracks to be set to basically, you know, one of your six channel outputs in order to do your 5.1 monitoring. There are no mono mono tracks in Reaper, and so all you do because if you so this is literally a number of tracks here you can see which when you go here you can see one or one to two. If we set this to six tracks. You can see we have all, once again, and then you have one, and then one to six, so you have all six. So this is our number of tracks, and this is where it's getting outputted to. Um, but in our track channels for mono, we don't have a single track. And so in Reaper, there are no mono tracks. So all you do is set it to stereo, you'd go to all, and then you just set one 
of the stereo outputs, and there's your mono track. <laughs> Even though it's not technically mono, but you, you get the idea. Um, and then you just simply route, out, route that to one of your outputs, one through six, for your 5.1 setup. And you do that with all six of your tracks in order to have six individual tracks for your 5.1 setup. So that's how you do that. Um, let's go ahead and continue with our kind of 5.1, how we did it originally. And so I can actually set this. Let's let's drag, let's leave that track there. Let's drag in our 5.1 surround sound file as before. Let me zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> and let's go back to route. And you can see we still have our previous route settings. But obviously now we have six channels set because of our new file. And let's go ahead and properly, um, let's go to all, and then we can route that to, you know, one through six, since we're using all of our track, uh, all of our channels in this one single track, and let's route that to one through six. So let's go ahead and put back on our D-Monono plugin, of course, and then we'll set that to our, once again, 5.1 ITU. Um, so this plugin, once again, we can monitor a lot of stuff here. Da -da 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 -da. I kind of went over all that. Um, but one of the things you could see is if we go up here, you'll be able to see for this plugin itself where we're routing to. And so these are our channels here, one, two, three, four, five, six, in our file here. And then these are basically what the plugin is getting for its inputs, one, two, three, four, five, six. One of the things I want to show you here is for our 5.1 ITU, I actually kind of put together a little, uh, <laughs> little uh, note here. Um, but you'll see that input one is left, input two is right, input three is center, and so on and so forth. But that is, in fact, ITU, as you can imagine, is different than uh, 5.1 film, um, which is left and then center and then right and then so on and so forth for its own uh, settings there. And so let's go, as you can see, I, IT, ITU is the normal one used, as far as I can tell. And once again, I'm kind of a novice at this, but I'm just trying to get across some of the information I found. But let's go ahead and set it to film. And then you'll notice when we mod when we listen to this again, that things aren't exactly going to be coming from the right areas. <laughs> if we monitor this. Left, center, right, right surround, left surround. You see our right surround was coming from the sub there, <laughs> but um, that's because uh, once again the 5.1 ITU is the most is is used a lot, uh, but 5.1 film is used for film. So let's go ahead and drag in a film. Let's do. Avengers Infinity War, this is a little clip uh, from Avengers Infinity War, and you can see we still got our 5.1, six channels here. Let's go ahead and solo that, and just for fun, we'll bring up the uh, view, we'll bring up our video, and you can see that there. And so this is just when Thor arrives. Um, but what I'll be able to do for you uh, while we do this is I'll be able to basically send these channels to different areas. So in this scenario, this is our left, this is our center, this is our right, and I'm pretty sure these are left, uh, back left, uh, back right, or surround left and surround right, and then our sub. So let's listen to this. Let's see if we can take some of these channels away. They can do only the back speakers. They do the center one only. Or we could do only the sub. So this is just for this plugin, by the way. Which is really nice that we have this kind of separate ability to route here. So now let's bring them all back, or at least just the back ones. You can hear the hammer fly around. Hear that sound, wah, 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 wah. And then let's go ahead, let's route, let's turn on all the channels, but let's then, let's route a bunch of them to the sub here as Thor proceeds to go nuts with his hammer and just hear how much bass we've just proceeded to send to the sub. <laughs> so typically it's not it, it doesn't have nearly that much bass in there but uh we just routed all of our channels except for the center which has most of the you know speech we just routed all of them to the sub which just puts a bunch of bass there 
but anyway, so that that's a fun example of 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 obviously we're using five point one film because that's what this one is is uh, mixed in. Um, we're just trying to show a fun example of how to kind of monitor this and use it. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. If we were to go back into our routing matrix, <clears throat> one of the things you'll notice is obviously if you've never seen this before is our tracks are basically listed here. You got to turn your head right a little bit <laughs> if you want to look at that. But our, our tracks are listed here going horizontally. And then uh, basically what, what our monitors are listed here just going vertically. And if you had external speakers instead of headphones, um, you can see right here we have our left, right, and then our, our left stereo, and then some MIDI inputs, etc. But you'd be able to have your audio interface inputs would all be here and your extra speakers, etc. So this is very similar to actually Pro Tools I.O. Um, it, it, it's, it's a little different looking, but it's very similar in, uh, in practice. So that's where you'd find it, routing matrix. It's just in view, and then you literally just go down to routing matrix. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all anyone really needs to know uh, just to get their feet on the ground when it comes to routing in Reaper is specifically the fact that the master has <laughs> the master is what's going to help give you your six channels of output. And then you can route your tracks as is needed individually. And then what's also super awesome in Reaper is that you can route the plugin itself individually, uh, which just allows you to have some fun and kind of non-destructive fun, even though this stuff will get saved. So if you do that and mess something up, and you're like, what's happening? Why is the routing broken? You might want to just double check your plug and make sure that everything's correctly uh, routed there. But anyway, that's the full video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was short enough, and um, I will see you later. And, and if you know if there's any more information, or whether you need to correct anything, or whether y'all have you know more experience or just information about this stuff in general, make sure to put it down in the comments. I'm gonna pin you if you've got some good stuff. I'll probably test your comment just to make sure that it's not you know a load of crap but hey if it's if it's good comment good information i'm happy to pin you and make sure that uh, we share as much information as possible once again keeping in mind this is just kind of a uh, like beginner beginner video to surround sound and reaper just to get people um started so that they can kind of have a place to go from there all right thanks everybody see you later and have a great day